All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put side by side the two formulas for compound interest and simple interest. All right, so we've got simple interest over here. Which is basically A equals P1 plus I multiplied by M. So I M. And compound interest A equals P1 plus I to the power of M. So let's say Sarah. invests $9,000 for nine years at 9% simple interest. And we want to calculate what her investment grows to after nine years. And on that same token, we have exactly the same thing, but Sarah invests $9,000 for nine years at 9% compound interest. Calculate the growth of investment during this period. The only difference between these two questions is the fact that we've got simple in one and compound in the other, and the formulas are different as well. So let's do a bit of a shopping list over here. The first thing I got here is my starting amount. My starting amount is always P. In this case here, it's going to be 9,000. Number of years is equal to nine. So that's in. And my interest rate as a decimal is 0 0.09. And I want to try and calculate the value of A. Exactly the same thing on this side. All right, so let's go ahead and substitute this into the formula now. I'll give you a chance. Maybe you do each of these, do a calculation of each of these. I'll give you a few minutes. Grab a calculator, grab a pen and paper, put it in the formula and try it. Press pause. When you're done, press play. Okay, so A equals P1 plus I N. And now all, I, all I'm going to do is substitute carefully 9,000 goes into P. 1 plus I is 0 0.09 and N is 9. All of this goes onto the calculator and let's see what comes up. 9,000, 1 plus 0 0.09 times 9. That comes to $60,290 and zero cents. Okay, let's do the next one. A equals P one plus I to the power of N, write down the formula, carefully substitute. So 9,000 one plus 0 0.09 to the power of nine. Calculator. 1 plus 0 0.09, press the power button, put 9 in there, press equal. And just as expected, this would be much more. This is 19,547 
0.04. Because compound interest, the moment an amount grows every single year, you are charging interest on the growing amount. Simple interest, what you're actually charging over here is 9%, 0 0.09 times 9,000, 810, a fixed amount of $810 every single year gets added on. Whereas here, you would constantly add it, multiply the interest in. Okay, now the next thing you have to keep in mind is also the fact that this question asks calculate her growth of investment. Whereas this question says calculate what her investment grows to. And that's two different questions, right? The growth of investment over here means that what they want to do is one more step, take the final amount and subtract the initial amount because that will show you how much the, amount, the money has grown from 9,000 to 19,547. So, so here you would write growth of investment is equal to A minus P which is going to be 19,547.04 minus 9,000. And you can see that actually, let's just take the 9,000 out of 10,547.04 dollars would be the growth of investment. So in nine years, she earned that much. And this is passive income. You put the money into an account, you leave it there, and the cost of borrowing that you charge the, the invest the person you're investing in is nine percent and so they grow your money to that amount after nine years it ends up like this with just merely having the investment in the account okay